What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this really easy but really pretty bright vampy lip and I love this color so much. I think it will look so beautiful on so many people and I'm going to show you how, we do, how we're going to use this lipstick not just for our lips but in other reasons and other ways. So little tips and tricks for you as well. I think a bold dark lip is so ideal for winter time. It's so easy because the eyes can be so simple, the skin just a little bit bronzy. Slap on a lip, you're good to go for any event you have to go to. I know this year is obviously so different, but we still have to have fun and we still have to enjoy the things that we're doing. I really hope you enjoy. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been really fun doing these, so we gotta keep it moving. So thank you so much and enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Um, these earrings are gonna drive me insane this whole, <laughs> whole time, but it's fine. I had to glam up my sweatshirt for you. Um, it's midday. I need to rehydrate my skin. So what I'm gonna do is, as always, we spray before we moisturize. Mario Badescu facial spray and lavender. And then I'm gonna make a little moisturizer concoction. La Roche Posay Lipocar Balm, a little bit in my hand, like a dime size amount. And then I'm gonna mix in Max Strobe Cream. This is pink light, because I want a little extra glowiness. So I think this might be a little nice concoction. So about that much. Gonna mix them together. This is actually kind of a lot of product. <laughs> and we're gonna hydrate our skin. I love Max Strobe Cream. My only issue I have with it is the, the fragrance. I don't know why brands put fragrance in products. It drives me crazy. It's so like, it's such a turn off to me. And it just gives me kind of like a headache. So if you have any suggestions for like a Max Strobe Cream type product that isn't fragrance, let me know. Cause I'm just, I'm not crazy about the fragrance, but I love the product. So I wish they would do a fragrance free version. That would be so smart, but who am I to say? And I'm putting some under the eyes too, just because we don't want our concealer to get all cracky and gross. Okay, I had way too much, so I gotta do something with this. <laughs> One sec. So that gave us a really nice, healthy glow hydrated, a little bit of, not shimmer, cause it's not shimmer that's in this product, but it just reflects light really beautifully and I love it. So for lips, I just need to hydrate them as well. Some regular old Vaseline, nothing fancy. Cause today we are doing, as you know from the intro, a very beautiful lip. We wanna make sure they're nice and prepped before we get into all that. Nobody wants a crusty lip, red lip. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use, this is like my new favorite thing and I'm still kind of playing with it and testing it out, but it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Tried and True Fan Favorite. I wear the shade 5.75. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger, dab it around. I don't need a ton of coverage. Like it's just a random Tuesday, so I don't need to like wear a ton of this, but I just wanna even out my skin tone a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty foundation brush to buff it in. <laughs> the earrings. <laughs> Great. For concealer, I'm gonna use RMS on cover up per usual. Just under my eyes and around my mouth a little bit. And then between my brows to brighten and some pigmentation over here. And I'm gonna use my same foundation brush just to kind of melt this in. 
This has a nice like pointed tip to it. So it's kind of good for getting in the, the corners here. Okie dokie. I don't feel like I need powder just yet. I, I don't always use powder. It's just kind of like if I feel as though I need it, I'll use it. If I don't, I won't use it. I'm not like a ride or die for powder at all. So what I'm gonna do before I move on to eyes is I'm gonna just warm the skin up a little bit because I think it'll be easier to tell what to do with the eyes and the lips once you just have a little bit more color in your face. Sometimes it's just hard to tell what, 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 what you need for balance if that isn't there. So I'm gonna use NARS uh, Laguna. I'm just gonna bronze up the whole face. And this is a, I love this brush. It's a Sona, Sonia Kashuk Duo Contour Brush. And it's really nice if you just want like an all over bronzy glow because it gives just like a very light wash of color and it's not super specific like where you put it. So it's nice if you just want like a really airbrushed easy look. And it feels nice too. It's like a little feather on your face. And see, so it just like, your life comes back. You come back to life when you have bronzer on, I swear. Even in the winter, I feel like everybody kind of needs a little bronzer. Okay, that looks good for now. So let me zoom you in really quick and we'll start working on the eyes, which are gonna be very easy, so you'll see. I forgot we have to do eyebrows <laughs> before we do eyes. I totally forgot about my little eyebrows today. So I'm gonna just brush them up and I feel like filling them in. I don't know what it is, but whenever I do a more bold lip or the lip is sort of the focus of the look, I like to have a fuller, fluffier brow. I don't know, it's just preference. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in, I think this is soft brown, yep. These are very comparable to the ABH pencils. Um, so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on those guys, I would go with this one. It's very good. This or the e.l.f. one, they're like three, four dollars. So yeah, if you don't use it every day, I would suggest going drugstore for a brow pencil. The drugstore has been kind of doing brow pencils pretty good for a long time. They kind of, it's one of the things they do well. Not everything, but. They do okay in the brow department. So I'm just filling in the little gaps and you can see this one is just slightly more fuller than this one, but it's not any different in shape or in size. It just looks a little bit more bold. But we are gonna push them up as well with, my, with hairspray, which is my little trick that I've shown in past videos and I'll show you again here, but it's the easiest way to get that fluffy brow without buying a separate product for that reason. Oh dear, I messed up on that one. <laughs> Brush it away. Cool. So I'll show you what I do with the hairspray is I just take a little bit of it, spray it on my spoolie, and once it gets tacky, I just start to brush through the hairs and they'll stick up like, that's what hairspray does anyway. So there you go. And I really push them up. And then once they're really tacky and like less wet, that's when I'll go back over them to make sure they stick straight up. I just like, I just really love this look when you're doing a bolder lip. I think a fluffy brow is so cute. So we've got the product in there. I'll let it sit for a little bit. And once it gets tacky and less wet, I'll go back in and manipulate the hairs a little bit more how I want them. But this trick does the job. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. For the eyes, we are doing something very simple, but very effective, I think, in kind of opening and brightening your eye, which is to me the prettiest and most flattering look when you're, when you're doing a more impactful lip. So what I'm gonna do is, and I think this is one of the most flattering colors you can ever have in your collection. It looks great on everybody, every skin tone. It's just 
so great and so pretty and nice. And it's a very like light pink kind of shell pink color. Tons of brands make products like this. I'm using a drugstore one. And this is the Maybelline color, color tattoo. And the color I think is called Socialite, but it's just this very like shell pink color. And you can even have this in a powder form in a liquid form. Glossier makes great cream eyeshadows in like a liquid tube. They're called Lidstar. They make a color similar to this. The Laura Mercier Caviar sticks have a color like this that are in a stick form, a pot form. I mean, this type of color comes in so many different ways. So whatever, whatever you prefer to use, I would say go with that. But this one is great because it lasts and it doesn't crease. So I'm just gonna warm it up with my finger in here, you can see how pretty it is. And we're gonna pat it all over the lid. And they kind of have a primer in them. Like, like I said, they don't move around. So you don't need to prime your lids or anything. It's like the easiest, most simple thing. And it just brightens your eyes and looks so pretty and everybody, I love it. This one in particular has like a little bit of shimmer in it. It's just so pretty. So all I'm going to do next is take my same bronzer with a fluffy brush and just kind of create somewhat of a crease so our eye doesn't get lost in the whole look. And this will just add a little bit of dimension back so we've got something else going on as well. I just think this kind of grounds the eye and um, doesn't look won't look so washed out, especially in the winter. You can get kind of like sallow you don't want you don't want that look so i think a bronzer in the crease i mean bronzer in the crease always is like my thing but this will help to really ground what you're doing and create some dimension don't need to do it but i think it helps and just use your bronzer you don't need to have a whole nother palette out you can just use whatever bronzer you use on your face it's so easy and this one particularly the nars laguna has a little bit of shimmer in it so you can see it's not totally flat and matte. It has the same kind of like depth as the eyeshadow does. Cool. For the lower lash line, we're gonna basically do the same thing. I'm gonna take a smaller, more dense brush and pick up the pink color again, the Maybelline potted color, and put that all on my lower lash line. This is just like a domed, um, oh my gosh, a domed crease brush. Any, li any little brush will do. You can even use your finger too, but. And then taking my fluffy brush again, dipping into the bronzer, I'm gonna put that right below it. Easy. One last thing I am going to do is just line my upper lash line with a bronze pencil just to make the lashes look a little bit thicker. It just adds a little bit of sparkle in your eye. I mean, you can never go wrong with owning like a little bronzy brown pencil. This is the Pixie and the Silky Eye Pen. I love these. I've talked about these in multiple videos. I have them in different colors. They're affordable. They're creamy. They last long. Can't say a bad thing about them. So. I'm just gonna put this in my waterline. So you can see it just added, it just makes the lash line look slightly thicker. It's not gonna add anything crazy to the look, but it will just make your lashes look a little bit more oomph than they are. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side and also put on mascara. I'm using, per usual, the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is in very black. Yeah, very black. So two coats on top, one coat on bottom, and then we'll come back and do the lips, which is the best part. So mascara is on and popping, and I'm loving it. But also, as I was doing my eyes, I'm like, oh, what is happening down here? which is so fun and what a treat as I'm doing lips today, of course. But today I actually, this morning, had to go get allergy testing because I have like these insane allergies. Turns out I'm allergic to my own dogs. So that's super fun for me. <laughs> so I broke the news to them today that they can't be on the bed anymore. 
and one of them didn't take it so well. She's sulking in the bathroom right now, so I don't know. But this is probably a result of my histamine test today, so lucky for you, you get to look at that. Um, so eyes are done, I love the way they look. Also off camera when I was doing my eyes, the eyebrow hair started getting stiff, which is good because the hairspray is on. So what you do is you just start to manipulate them and push them up where you want them and you'll see they will stick up. It's like magic. So I love this little trick. You don't need wax, you don't need gel, you don't need fancy whatever. You just use some hairspray and you get that pretty little bushy look. Next, I am going to move on to lips because I, like I've mentioned in previous videos, a lot of times when I do a bolder eye or a bolder lip, which is like every video, because if I wasn't doing that, what am I doing? I wait to do blush last because it's hard to sometimes tell what tone to use, how much to use, that type of thing. Um, but I'm gonna show you a trick with what I'm gonna do with blush today. Anyway, so let's move on to lips. The star of the show today and the lip color I'm using is a beautiful color by Kosas. I got this last year and I love it. I haven't worn it very many times and I'm stoked to wear it today. It's the color Dark Room and you can see it's like a really rich color. I'll show you on my hand. It's almost like it pulls a little bit more berry than it would like a fire engine red or like a um, your typical blue red that looks really pretty makes your teeth look really white this will do the same thing because it is a cooler tone but it pulls like that almost berry color it's so pretty if you have like olivey skin tone like mine you're gonna really like this um but i will say that online i've seen it's shown on different different models of all different like undertones and it just looks gorgeous. So highly recommend and very satisfying magnet packaging. Love it. But Kosas is one of my favorite brands. Check them out if you can, small beauty brand. I don't have a lip liner that matches this color, but I'm gonna show you right now what to do with this guy, this brush to perfect your bolder lip colors if you don't own a lip liner similar to that color because I, how can you have a lip color that match or a lip liner that matches every lip color? That'd be to me too much, too much stuff. Have your new have your nude lip liners and then what you do is take your lipstick, take a little invest in or not even invest in. These are like this is Delium tools. I bought it at Ricky's before they closed. RIP to Ricky's, one of the greatest beauty stores to ever live in New York, but no longer here. Buy a lip brush. Morphe has some every brand makes these. And what you do is dip it into the color and we're gonna use this to outline our lips. So we avoid that bleeding you get. If you just start on your lip with the color, you'll get like a bleeding, it will look kind of uneven. This will help you avoid that. So we're going to outline our lips with the brush. Oh, I have some Vaseline on still. Let me just wipe that away over my hive. And I think I mentioned this in my other video I did with the red lip. I did the same technique. It's just use this to avoid the bleeding and avoid lip liner. So now that we have some color on, I'm gonna take it straight from the bullet, apply more, and then we're gonna further just kind of perfect how we want it to be. So now see how it's not super even on all angles. It doesn't look perfect, which who cares anyways, but this will come in handy to smooth out the color and make it look a little bit more even. The 
the color is on. I didn't do much else to it, but just clean up the lines a little bit more. But isn't this color so pretty? I love it. I think it'll be so beautiful on so many different skin tones. It's a really comfortable formula. It's very satiny and it's not, I don't love matte lipsticks. I have proclaimed this on my channel before, but this is like a very classic satin lipstick. Super comfortable, really easy to reapply. And this color I think is gorgeous for winter. Uh, so what we're gonna do for blushes, this is a very like Katie Jane Hughes technique, but she's a little bit more uh, professional than me. So what she normally does is blush for her cheek blush that she'll use is she'll take some off of her lips with her brush and use it as blush. I'm scared of that because I might screw it up and this could be all over my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of the blush on my hand and then I'm gonna buff it into my brush very lightly because this is a very creamy formula and it's um, easily manipulated so I don't wanna go too crazy with this. I just want like a kiss of the same color on my face. And I'm using a Sigma large angled contour brush but this is very fluffy. And I think that's um, probably your best bet for this technique is using a fluffy brush so we don't have a heavy patch on your face. So I'm just buffing it into my brush here. And then we're gonna very lightly stipple this on the cheeks. Like we want a, a kiss of this color. I'm barely touching my skin, by the way. And <laughs> you can already see it's like, hello. We're gonna use our fingers though to blend it in more. What you can even do is when you buff it here, then take some off here and then go in. And then you can take your finger, go over it, a little on the nose. And then another trick you can do, because it's already too much, take your foundation brush and go over it again. And I like my blush a little closer into my face and higher up. I just think that looks the, the most natural on me and like an actual flush, like if it's like the sun kissed you or a wind flush, that kind of thing. So if you like that look, you can kind of bring it up how I am here, right on the under eye and up. If not, you just place it wherever you like, wherever your preference is. This works the best, I think, for my face shape. There, it looks just like we have like a little, Wind flush, and it matches the tones perfectly, I think. This is your best bet and your easiest way to match lipstick to um, blush is just use your lipstick. Use what you have. <laughs> Last step before we're done, because we're almost done, just gonna add a little bit of highlighter because we don't have as much glow as I would like. So I'm gonna use the RMS Living Luminizer and this is the Peach Luminizer. And I think this undertone will kind of match everything really nicely. It's not too icy, it has that really beigey kind of undertone. So that will go really nicely with the lip and the eye and the cheek. I'm gonna do a little bit on the inner corner of my eye too because we didn't do any like pop of shimmer in there or anything, but this will just kind of brighten up very subtly. And it just brings a little bit of that dewy glow back. If you haven't tried the RMS cream luminizers, because they have powder ones as well, they're very emollient, they're very creamy. Um, they almost feel like a balm, balmy texture. They don't dry down, so if you don't like that tackiness, this won't be for you, but I gotta say, they're one of the best highlighters. They give you that really natural, like sweaty glow, <laughs> which is my favorite kind of glow, so <laughs> I love it. So yeah, we are finished. Shining! This is the final look. I This is like truly one of the easiest looks you can do, especially around the holidays, this time of year. If you're in a rush to go somewhere, I know we're all wearing masks, but still, still, if you need a look to feel put together and something really easy, a bright eye, a bold lip, you're good to go. A little bronzy skin, it's so quick and easy, I promise you. And then also, we're using our lipstick as our blush and our liner. So it's minimal products, it's really fun and easy. So I really hope you try this and have a very safe and happy holiday.